Welcome to Forging Your Empire with Iggy. I am Iggy, and in today's video I want to discuss the equation for growing your city as fast as possible. Now this is mostly for new people, um, although I played the game for one year and was not aware of this equation, so I wouldn't have considered myself new. It's, it's really for people who, looking at this equation, um, find things that they do not recognize. So the equation is the arc, and I mean a high-level arc, 80 or above, but at any rate, the arc plus the Chateau Frontenac, or however you pronounce that, plus an active 1.9 thread plus recurring quest equals the engine behind everything. Now, if you're familiar with all of this, you don't really need to watch this video. If parts of this equation have you wondering what is that, then this video is definitely for you. When I started this game, as I said, I played for a year. I knew nothing about these things. I didn't have an arc. I didn't have a chateau. Uh, I did not have an active 1.9, and I knew nothing about recurring quest. Recurring quest, the, the equation's kind of in reverse. Recurring quests are the most important thing to understand first as a new player. Then you want to get into a guild that has an active 1.9 thread. That will help you get the blueprints that you need to build the arc and the chateau. Those two things combined will have you swimming in goods, forge points, coins, supplies, blueprints, um, everything you need to, to build your city as fast as possible. Like I say, it's the engine behind everything. Let's go into the city and I'll, I'll try to give you an overview of what that is. But if you're new and you're starting this game and you want to get your city going, these are the things to focus on. Okay, so what I try to do, and having a bank is very important also, but say, you, say you're still in the Iron Age and, and your collection is only 7 FP. You want to get your collection first. In this case, I'm 700 FP. And then you go to a 1.9 thread. Uh, I've got one down here. And you want this to be hopefully an active one where you can spend the money. If, the, if it's not active, you'll just use it on your own buildings. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this person posted a building. I can take the three spot for 114. So I'll, I'll put three in there. This is live, so there could be mistakes happening. I'm not sure. It's her CDM, 114. I'll go there. A great building. CDM. This is a 1.9 thread. If you don't know how to use one, um, go to YouTube and and just, just say 1.9 thread for Forge of Empires. And you should get tons of results for it. So I'll put the 114 on here. I'll donate. This is a donation. Now, with my arc, you'll see that the rewards for this are 60 forge points, 323 medals, and 5 blueprints. But since my arc is a high level, and you want to get it to a high level, I'm able to pay 114, and that's break even. I don't lose any forge points on this, and I get an additional 293 medals and an additional 5 blueprints. So I will be swimming in blueprints for the CDM. And I'll get all my forge points back. It doesn't cost me anything. And I get, you know, 600-something medals. So, I mean, you, you're just already going to see how you're swimming in, in, in those type of things. I'll close that out. And then what I want to show you here, which is the recurring quest, which I said is the most important part of this equation. It's up here in the story. You go to your story. And... When you're in the younger ages, you only get one of these for spending forge points. And I'll show you how to loop around to them. They're very important. So I have spend 150 forge points and spend 200 forge points open. Those are the ones I want. And these are the rewards I want. The Chateau Frontenac is going to increase my rewards by a lot. If you don't have a Chateau, you get five goods when goods come up. With a level 58, you get 25 goods. Different rewards show up. You get goods, you get coins, you get... Sometimes you get forge points, sometimes you get supplies, blueprints, occasionally diamonds. But really you're going after the goods here, so you don't have to ever build any goods buildings in your city. So we need a few more uh, forge point donations. We have to spend more forge points in order to satisfy these quests. Um, and, and you'll see them in your city. They usually, in a younger age, it usually comes up here as um, I had a very disturbing dream. You'll see that's the paragraph. If you're on mobile... It doesn't show you the spend 150. You can only read the paragraph. So you want to look for the disturbing dream recurring quest. Okay, we got to spend another 104 points. 
So say you don't have anything in there in the 1.9. I'll just go to one of my own buildings, and since I made my collection, I have a lot of forge points sitting on my bar. Um, I'm going to unlock unlock my Alcatraz. As you can see, I'm up to level 93 because I have I have unlimited blueprints for this now. Because I've been doing this now for a couple of years, you just you'll just can level buildings you know to the sky. I'll donate 100 to my own building. And now you see I got the green check mark. I've satisfied the quest. Okay, perfect. So I get 615,000 coins. The chateau is what's made this really amplified. I'm going to collect it. But this is what I wanted you guys to see. It's the goods. In Venus, the sugar crystals are the goods. I get 25 sugar crystals. So you'll be getting 25 of whatever age good you're in if you have a chateau at level 58. If you don't have a chateau and you don't have an arc, you should still be doing these quests. So say you don't have either building. You collect those quests, and then these other ones come up, and this is what you need to do. This is what's called looping. You abort the quest. You abort this one. You keep aborting the quest until the spend FP one comes back around again. Now, you can do this 2,000 times. That's the limit that Eno put on it. So don't worry about running out of opportunities to do this. So say you have you know 200 FP on your bar. You want to keep aborting your quest around until you get to the spend FP. And like I said, you don't even have to have an arc or a chateau. You should be doing this from day one. It's going to help you get goods, coins. So I'm back around to spend 200, spend 150. I go back to the 1.9 thread. I don't think there's anything there. It's not this one is not as active as as it, as it should be. I'm I'm late in the game. I'm I'm done with the game. I'm at the last age. I don't have to be as active as I used to be. But um for example, we would just say say there's say there's an arc in here or say there's a, an Alcatraz in here with a 200 point donation, a 200 FP donation. I would call it like I did before and I would hit enter. And then I'm going to just do it on my own for an example. I'll add 200 to it. This is the important part of having a forge point bank also. Doing this is going to help you bank also. You'll have a lot of forge points that, at your disposal. Now you see I've satisfied the quest again. Look, 25 more goods. This is huge. When, when you don't ha you have the chateau, as I said earlier, I think you get five goods. You know how long it takes you to make 25 goods? We just made 50 goods in, in a couple of minutes. And I'm going slow here explaining the video. And then look, we got forge points. And then again, you want to loop around. You want to abort these quests until you come back to spend FP. There are other ones you can do also. You know, if there's something that's easy for you, um, I don't recommend doing the unbirthday quest because that's spending um, supplies and you're going to need a lot of supplies later. Um, but you might get one that's easy for you that you can do. I have a collect incidents one that's pretty easy. The game's giving a lot of incidents now. So you get the idea. We just come around. You go back to your 1.9 thread. Hopefully there's a building there. You, you call it. You go to that person's building. You donate the forge points. And, um, and you satisfy that quest again. Again, I'm doing this on my own building, so you're not getting the exact example. But the, the first one, you saw the value of the arc in the chateau. Okay, so now we've got a blueprint and we've got coins. You know, and it just and it just loops around. You just keep getting different things, um, but what you're really going after are the goods and the supplies, forge points. Actually, I don't. I'm not sure if it increases forge points, but it definitely increases everything else. It increases the the goods, and it saves you the space of having to put a goods building in your city, uh, which is huge. I haven't put a goods building down in so long. I I, I really can't tell you. It, it, it's been forever. Uh, look at all this empty space I have in my city. I have all this is empty space. And people are always crying about space. I know I'm advanced in age, but you, you'll be able to have a, an early age city where you don't have any goods buildings. And uh, it's very useful. I'll go back to the equation here. And again, the ideal, your target, I should say, for the arc is a level 80. Um, Chateau, level 58. A very active 1.9 thread. So when you're looking to join a guild, that's the first thing you want to ask them. Say, do you guys have an active 1.9? And then learn how to use your recurring quest. So you can, like I said, do this equation in reverse. Learn your recurring quest. Get into a guild with a good 1.9 thread. Work on getting the blueprints for your chateau and your arc, and then build them. 
and keep keep building those up and following this and and you're going to grow your city much much faster than i did and i'm already at the end of the game but it's it's the way i wish somebody told me this early that's why i'm doing the video i want you guys to know about it there are lots of other uh tricks about building up your bank you know coins are very important you can buy forge points with coins you should try to do that when you make donations maybe if something is 10 fp you can buy 10 forge points and then do the donation that's very useful because those 10 forge points then go into a pack and they go into your your bank and the bank is this here at the top uh, i have 192 now oh i'm sorry that's not the bank um i make mistakes like that um the bank is in your inventory somewhere oh you see these forge points right this is your bank 10 forge points i have 3388 packages of 10 forge points so whenever you can if your bar is empty and you have a lot of coins i don't know what that is i think it's five billion you you buy forge points and then make the donation in the 1.9 and then those forge points go into one of these packs and then you can do a, that that really helps you later on in the game okay i hope this video was useful for you guys especially if you're new it will really get you going fast it, it helps you where to focus Get that chateau, it's this one here, and get that arc, it is this one here. And you put them together, and, and, you, start, and you start humming along. Thank you guys, and uh, check back often. If this video had some value to you, do all those things they say, you know, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Thanks again, take care.